Hey guys, uh, Josiah Morton here. I'm going to give a uh, quick vlog review of Hunger Games Balkan Shape Part 1. Now, these vlog reviews I'll only do for movies I've seen in theaters. Now, keep in mind, these are not scripted. These are not prepared. I may have wrote a couple notes and know what I'm talking about. Other than that, this is just coming straight from my recollection of the movie. So, these are not expertly prepared. So, if me being on camera is not to your liking or not as professional as you might think it is, it's just, I'm just coming out of the blue and doing this, so I apologize. But anyway, Mock and Shade Part 1. Before I talk about this movie, however, i got to give a brief summarization of what I thought of the other two movies. Hunger Games, I did not like too much. Um, I did not like the pacing, I did not like the cinematography, especially the shaky cam. That's completely, completely unforgivable. I'm not a fan of shaky cam. That movie abused way too much. And, um, pacing, cinematography... It was just a clunker and mess. I did not like the first one that much. It wasn't as impressive. A first moving to a franchise, I did not like too much. Now for Catching Fire. Catching Fire is one of those sequels in which it's better than the first movie. I really liked Catching Fire. A lot of the things that it can, a lot of the issues I have with the first movie, they addressed. The cinematography was much more improved. The pacing was better. Overall, it was an enjoyable experience. I liked the second one more as one of those vastly improved sequels. I feel as if the director saw the first movie was just writing down notes of things needed to improve in the first movie. So we'll basically enjoy this Catching Fire. Now on to Mock and Shade Part 1. Uh, first of all, let me say this. I started reading the books after I saw the first movie. A friend of mine, who I saw the first movie with, um, he read the books. He, he highly recommended them. So I read the books after I saw the first movie. I gotta say, I liked the first two books. I did not like Mock and Shade whatsoever. Mock and Jade to me was a big disappointment. Um, I felt like with the books, there's just so much build up towards the end game. And the end game was completely disappointing. Um, the pacing was all over the place in Mock and Jade. No, I'm sorry. Let me trust that. It's not all over the, pay, all over the place. The pacing was just too fast. They just, it seemed like just, they just wanted to hurry up and finish the book. If you read the book and you pretty much zoned out while reading, you will miss quite a number of stuff. Because the pacing in this movie, in the book, was completely just unforgiving. And there is, let's just say, there are some character decisions in the book that I did not like. That ruined it for me. But that's for another time. Anyway, on to Mock and Jay Part 1, the, the movie. Um, I really like this movie. I will go boldly as to say it's my best one in the franchise. It's for numerous reasons. Number one, it's the tone of the movie. The tone of this movie is much more bleaker and darker. And you can sense an air of rebellion and desperation in the air. This movie sets its tone perfectly the first 15 minutes of it. In the first 15 minutes, Katniss goes to District 12 to look on it after it's been bombed. And I gotta say, that part of the movie sets the tone perfectly. And that tone never dissipates. It just keeps up at it. Another thing I like is the cinematography. The shots that are filmed in the movie are just beautiful. Although there is a lack of color in the movie, there's a lot of gray and whatnot. But you know, it's a, it's a war movie, so we're expecting of that. But yeah, so we're talking is much more improved. The visual effects were beautiful, the special effects were top notch. I really like special effects. On to the acting. Um, Jennifer Lawrence, excuse me, Jennifer Lawrence did a great job. Like, she has grown from an actress. The first movie I saw in was Hunger Games. And ever since then, she has grown as an actress, playing Hunger Games, the excellent movies. Um, American Hustle, she has improved vastly, and this was her best performance I've seen her in. She conveys Katniss's feeling perfectly. This is a character who is thrust into his rebellion. She is a symbol for, she's the Mockingjay, she, she is the symbol of this rebellion. She's thrust in a situation in which she doesn't want to be a part of. She just wants, she just wants to live a normal life, and, but she's thrust onto this. A little girl is thrust onto this, and she conveys it perfectly. Josh Hutcherson as PETA does a great job in this movie as well. Um, he, to me, I would go as far as to say it's his best performance in the movie. You feel sorry for these two characters. Their situations. You feel, re feel really sorry for them and they convey it perfectly. Great job, Josh Hutcherson. I hope he gets more work in this movie. At this movie, I hope he gets more work. Great job. Um, who else? Oh, I'm sorry. Donald Sutherland. <laughs> I almost forgot his name. Donald Sutherland did a great job as President Snow. This guy is perfectly cast. I like the fact that they expand his character in the movie. In the book, 
he's not in the book that much, really. He's not really in the book that much, but barely at all, actually. But in this movie, they expand this character, and I like that. He did a great job in this movie. I loved him in Catching Fire, and he did not disappoint in this movie as well. He is a sneering, conniving, evil bastard. You just hate him in this movie. I hate him in the second movie. In this movie, he takes the hate to a whole new level. <laughs> you just hate him in this movie. Great job. Liam Helmsworth, not good whatsoever. Um, he's the worst performance in this movie is Liam Helmsworth. Not good whatsoever. He does not have Chris Helmsworth acting or his charisma. I'm sorry, Liam. He's not that good of an actor. I know some people like him, but I'm sorry. He's, he comes off as way too wooden in this movie. Way too wooden. It's bad. All right. Now, with these part, the this is one thing I'm complaining about right now. It seems like movies nowadays have this trend of splitting book-related material into two parts. Harry Potter did it. That's understandable. There was a lot of material in Harry Potter. If they put that in one movie, they'll be cutting a lot out. Even with two parts, they cut a lot out, but it was necessary. Twilight, it was unnecessary. Twilight was just a cash grab. And you could tell from watching the first movie. Why? There are a lot of filler scenes in Twilight Part 1. A lot of them. You could tell they were just just stretching it thin just to split this in two parts. It was evident. Divergent is getting two is getting a two-parter for the last last one. This trend needs to die. I do not like this trend whatsoever. It's just it's easy a cash grab. This movie, however, it's both a cash grab. Yeah, I'm, yeah, it's a cash grab in this movie. It's a cash grab. Um, there, there's, there are some filler scenes in this movie. Not as much as Twilight Part 1. There is a few that could have been cut out. This movie is two hours and three minutes long. There are a couple of filler scenes that should have been cut out that wouldn't ruin the runtime. The biggest one, in my opinion, and this is a spoiler, mind you, because nothing really happens in this scene, Katniss and Gale go hunting. It's a 12-15 minute scene. It could have been cut. There was no reason for it. It didn't do anything in the story. It's obvious there to try to stretch the running time a little bit. It could have been cut out. But this is one movie in which I feel is better than the book. Like I said before, the book had pacing issues. This movie slows it down. The pacing is much slower, more constructive. I like that. This movie is better than the book. A lot of certain tweaks they added. I, of course, with the book and movie, there will be certain things they're going to add in the movie that weren't in the book. The, the small little things they um, added in this movie, I feel like, are better for it. The book was a disaster, but this movie improves upon the mistakes from the book. That being said, I am not so sure about part two. Like I said before, I did not like the book because all the, there are some decisions that characters make or some situations in the book that I just did not like, and that's going to be in part two. So what I'm going to do is, for part two, when I review what, when I review the movie next year, that comes out next year, I'll review it. I'll do two uh, two part review. The first part will be a spoiler free. The second part will be a spoiler review. In this spoiler review, I'm going to go into details about the decision, about the certain things in the um, movie. I'm pretty sure because certain of the things that are going to be in the book are most likely going to be in the movie. And if they are, I'm going to have that spoiler review, which I'm going to discuss in depth. Why I did not like the decisions, why I did not like what character did, I'll discuss in depth. But that'll be for, that, but that'll be for next year. So yes, overall, I really enjoyed this movie. Um, it improved again. It, it, this franchise is heading in the right direction. Like I said, the first movie was a complete letdown. The second movie improved greatly from the first one. This one, it kind of improved. If you, let me put it this way, if you like Catching Fire, you'll like this movie. It's sort of the same thing, but they improved a few little things. Overall, I really like the movie. Um, for those who who like the Hunger Games movies, I tell you go and see it. Those of you who don't like Hunger Games movies, um, this movie will not do anything to change your mind. It won't. This movie will not do anything to change your mind. If you don't like it, just stay clear. But if you're not entirely sure, just wait for it to come out of Red Box and the Red Box it. Alright, so this is my first vlog review. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. If you have any comments or anything, any advice, just put it in the comment section below. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you later. Bye.